All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to remove, um, if you have like a SIM card or SD card or something that you just accidentally stuck in. This can even be like a CD or DVD. Let's say you accidentally put a CD in a slot and it's not coming out. All right, so here's what you would do. So let's pretend this is like a SIM card slot here, okay? I don't wanna risk damaging my actual SIM card or any slots or anything. So I'm gonna use this folded up piece of paper as an example. I just taped a bunch of paper together. So if I were to stick this piece of paper in here, like there's no way it's coming out, okay? So it's, it's just gonna be stuck in there. Like I can't get that out by hand. Um, if you try and use tweezers, you can maybe get it out, but it's gonna be a lot more difficult. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do, you'll need some double stick tape, and then you'll also need, sorry, you also need something that's thin, but also rigid. So I have like this plastic packaging material from an uh, SSD. Um, you can also get something like cereal box. This is what I folded up, I cut a piece, but you can get like a cereal box material as long as it's thin enough. Um, but I would recommend plastic just because it holds together better. It's not gonna get like crunched up or anything if you can't put the, um, if you can't slide it through properly. So I'll show you what you do. So get the plastic, okay? You wanna cut a piece um, and you want to get it to be about the same slot size as a slot, maybe a little, um, actually a little bit smaller. Um, so what you do is you get this like that. Okay, so here you can see this will fit in there. If you want, you can cut it smaller just to be safe. Okay, so I'm going to cut this a tiny bit smaller. You can um, also what helps is if you cut it at an angle. So right now it's tilted that way if I cut it this way. Okay. All right. So when you cut it at an angle, then you have this um, smaller end that will easily go slide in. You can even round it if you want, but this is this should be fine. Okay, then you want to keep in mind which way the pins are going. If you accidentally put the SIM card upside down, then this is going to be... Um, just make sure that you don't have it where it's going to be sliding between the pins. So on the USB, the pins are on the bottom here. You don't want to slide it there. You want to slide it above... Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you want to slide the tool above the SIM card or the broken piece, okay? So what we're going to do now is we'll take some double stick tape, okay? Um, this is acrylic double stick adhesive, but any kind of double stick adhesive that doesn't like shred easily, so you don't want like a papery type, um, you want like the plasticky type double stick adhesive, all right? So just cut a piece of this tape, cut it kind of long, um, close to the length of the SIM card. All right, and then what you wanna do is you take the double stick adhesive and you wanna stick it on slightly so it hangs over the edge, okay? So we'll stick on the double stick adhesive like this, okay? And then you fold this over. The reason you fold it over, you wanna make sure that this side actually has more than the back edge here. So that way, whatever when you slide it in, it's gonna have more sticking power on the um, thing that's stuck than on whatever the material you're pulling it out of. All right, so now what you want to do, we'll just peel off the protective layer. Okay. If your tape is too big for the tool, I mean, you can just easily cut it down. So right now, some of the tape is hanging off the edge. So what you do, just get your scissors and just cut the excess off. So that way, the stuff isn't sticking over to the sides. You can cut it shorter, it's fine. So I'm gonna just cut this tool shorter so I can make sure, or thinner, so I can make sure that the tape is wrapped over. So now we got the longer piece of the tape here, the shorter one here. And what you wanna do, longer side will face the part that's stuck in there. So what you do, you just get between the two layers, okay? Push the tool in there. And then once you feel like you've pushed it enough, then you can kind of pull it back. Okay, and just kind of wiggle and slowly pull, and there we go. So we got this thing out. If you got something like a CD dry, uh, CD or something stuck in, sometimes it helps to have like an extra tool. So what I did, um, I would use like this. This metal tool is a lot better because it's um, a little more rigid, but at the same time, it's still flexible and really thin. So for things like CDs or bigger things, I use this because it's a lot thinner. Um, than this plastic. And what you can do is after you stick the adhesive, um, you can slide it through the slot and then you can tilt it to apply pressure onto the CD. So it gets a very good stick 
and then you can pull it back. Um, normally I would use a metal tool like this, but the problem is this tool is too big for like SIM cards and C um, SD cards. So that's why I would use a tool like this. So as you can see, we were able to pull this out. You don't need to use tweezers or anything that you might end up scratching or breaking anything inside. And yeah, so hopefully this video will help you guys. This will work pretty much for anything that's stuck inside, a, like um, that's kind of rigid, flat, and stuck in a slot. So SD card, micro SD card, SIM card, whatever. So I've had a lot of, I've had a couple people that stuck a SIM card in their phone without the tray and then they couldn't get it out. So that's the trick, how you would remove it. Same thing with CDs. I've had people shove multiple CDs inside a, a CD drive, like a PlayStation or something, the slot. And then you can use that trick to pull those extra layers of CDs out. Um, but yeah, use your imagination. Whatever you get stuck that you need to pull out that's kind of flat like this and the tape can stick to, you can use this trick. Okay, so again, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, send my channel to other people so that they can also fix their devices. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.